Hello everybody, my name is Christy and today we are here to make Beyond the Meat, Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger, that thing. and Beyond the Meat, Beyond Sausage. So I'm going to show you, I kind of started taking it out of the pack here. All right, so I heard really good things about these kinds of products. Yes, this one was on clearance, so it's probably just sitting there a little bit longer. That's fine. So I'm gonna have one of each, and I'm gonna put cheese on those things. Vegan cheese, don't don't flip out. Vegan cheese. I think I saw cheese. Is it cheese? Yeah, I saw cheese. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I read the instructions to them. Um, the burgers are three minutes on each side. The sausages are six minutes on each side. Um, I just need to open them. I'm doing this one handedly. Okay. Okay. So this is hard to do with just one hand. All right, what the? It smells like tuna? Kelly, come here. Coffee. My nose sucks. Smell this, what does oh, it smell yeah. like? What does it smell like? <laughs> I said, what does it smell like? Not does it smell good or bad. Okay, I'm sorry, but to me, that smells like wet cat food. You're a wet cat food. Okay, that doesn't... <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Like, it smells like coffee. I mean, actually, yeah, I could do the other. Weird tuna. Like, what, coffee makes a tuna fish? Yeah. Or, like, tuna so flavored cat food? That's so what it smells like. It's fucking shit. Here, let's put you there. Yay, called creativity. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, here is the burger. Get a close up of it. Under the light. That's the burger. That's the sausage. Sausage looks pretty good. All right, and the pot hand is pretty hot. I have coconut oil spray on it. I, I don't feel I can pick it up. Okay, I'm not gonna pick it up. Well, I'm gonna pick it up, because you gotta pick it up. If you don't pick it up, you can't put it in the damn pan. So I'm gonna put the sausage. See, this stays together if you pick it up. Okay. And then the patty. Wow, that's pretty thick, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've been doing that for a long time. Well, not a long time, just kind of recently. So, let me show you here what we got. It's kind of really thick. That's what he said. Okay. So, I put you here. Yes, you're in my cupboard, but this is the only way you're gonna see me right now. Be right back. You need something to turn it with. Okay. So I'm going to grab a plate ish. That doesn't smell that bad, actually. Okay. My plate. pretty good. Let's see, can I squish it? If I squish it, nothing happens. I'm doing the best I can. 
All right. That looks pretty damn good, actually. Which is good, because I'm freaking hungry. Okay. Put you guys back here. Get the chow. The chow cheese. Chow or cheese. Hey, hi, hi. Chow, chow, chow. I need it. Right. See, the hardest part is judging when this sucker's done. Because I know it says like six minutes on each side or three minutes. Like the the top looks done, the bottom looks done. The side, not so much. Like I'm getting closer to the stove. See? So this is looking almost done though. It's looking pretty damn good. And I'm not touching the pan. Yeah, see some grease, it sizzles. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's almost done. I'm trying to see. All right, so I'm gonna do this in hopes that it actually cooks it all the way. Because I don't think you could get food poisoning from undercooked vegan food. Sorry. But yeah, I don't wanna try it. So, okay, I think the sausage is done. I think it's just the burger left, so take that off the stove. Put that on the plate. Now I'll just have the patty. Kind of let it do its thing. All right, so, a little foggy in here. All right, so then I'm gonna need a fork and a knife. Where's my fork? Where's, you know, the one I stuck the package with. All right. So. Looks pretty much done. For the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese on it. Now, if you haven't had chow cheese before, it's really good. It does really well with the melting process. So it's really flipping good that way. So we will leave it there. I went ahead and turned the stove off so it cannot burn anymore. All right, spray right back. Still letting that melt, put the cheese back. You know, I never tasted the cheese just by itself. Now I'm going to. Okay. Hell yeah. It tastes like normal cheese. <laughs> um, this is what I meant by good at melting. Because it was from this to that. Which again, she's a phenomenal. Mm. I don't know what it is, but it's real good. 
kind of sticky there for now. All right. <clears throat> now that's a cheeseburger. Vegan style. I don't, I don't know. All right. So, I'm gonna bring you with me. Best I can. Down the best that I can. All right. You get some ketchup. You can't go wrong with some ketchup. Do we have ketchup? Oh, you yeah. Ketchup is vegan. <laughs> ketchup is magic. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, show you the final product. Ta-da! Final product. All right. So we're going to go ahead and eat this one way or another. We're going to eat it and maybe not kill the phone by doing it. Okay. All right. So first is the sausage. Oh, it's crispy on the outside. Which this is the Italian sausage flavor. So it's the outside. Oh, guess. What's the inside? Mm. Definitely not bad. I can see myself eating it. But... This is also pretty inex uh, expensive. Um, just for the pack that you saw, I got it on discount. Ketchup, please. Um, I got it on discount for five forty nine. It's normally like twelve bucks. It's like yeah, no. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more, and I'm gonna pair it with the ketchup. I give this one an A plus. A plus. Now, the PS de resistance. The burger. All right, so we're gonna... Now, I already know the cheese is good. But what about the burger? All right, so that's the outside. Inside. kind of an interesting smell. I don't know how to describe it. It still kind of smells like coffee or something. Okay, so. With cheese, not that bad. Without it, I would say that it's a little plain. It's not bad. I'm like, I'm gonna scoop some of this out. It's, it's kind of weird because I don't want to do that, but the cheese is phenomenal. If you want a cheese that is creamy like and is vegan, go chow. You gotta do chow. All right, so this has no cheese on it. It has the texture right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It has like, um, for those coffee drinkers out there, you don't know what I'm talking about. When you drink the coffee and you have that aftertaste of the coffee, not the strong one, but like maybe after you drink a water or two, that's what the aftertaste is. I mean, luckily for me, I like coffee. So, yay. Um, but definitely with the cheese, you wouldn't even tell the difference. You wouldn't tell the difference. Um, I just didn't put on a bun or anything. 
um, just simplicity, calorie sakes. Um, speaking of bread, there is a bread out there, Fit and Active, I believe it is called. Uh, it's 40 calorie bread. Um, if you just Google 40 calorie bread, um, you'll get two of the major brands. Um, I forget what the other one is, 647 or something. And then the other one is the Fit and Active. Um, those are my two favorites right now. So I think, I don't know if I have the one with me. That's okay. So that is pretty much it for the Beyond meat so some of the things that they make are not always that great but these actually turned out fantastic so they get the christy ld band girl stamp of approval so if you're vegan you want to try something a little different try going for these they're actually very very good um this is not a paid sponsorship at all just putting that out there if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see other notifications on when i go live and upload new videos. In the meantime, check out some of the other videos on my channel. And if you have a recommendation, something you want me to try, something you want me to, to do, definitely let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.